All right, so for this section of the course, we will be going over multiple text functions within Excel. I know we use Excel mostly for numeric data, but being able to manipulate strings of text can be very useful for extracting only certain parts of the string for reporting purposes. And before we begin, I do want to point out that we will be working within the text functions sheet tab. So make sure you have this sheet selected. So to start off, we will be working with this top example up here. And over here to our left, we have different SKU numbers. Now within these SKU numbers, each part of the SKU means something. For this example, let's say that the first two letters within every SKU symbolizes the brand name. And then it's followed by three numbers, which tells us the part number for this product. And then the last three characters tells us the type. And this is the same for every SKU. The first two letters are the brand, then the three numbers is the part number, and then the last three characters are the type. So our goal over here is to extract only the characters for the brand, the part number, and the type by using Excel's text-based functions. So first, let's extract the characters for the brand. Well, to do that, we need to use the left function because the brand is on the left side of our string of text. So let's type in the equal sign and insert left. And then let's open up our function arguments window to see which arguments are required for this function. So let's click the FX button here at the top next to our formula bar. And we can read that the left function returns the specified number of characters from the start of a text string. And for our first argument, it's the text string containing the characters you want to extract. So our goal is to extract BA from this string of text. So we can select cell B3 for our text argument. And then for our next argument, we are now specifying how many characters you want left to extract. So if we are trying to extract two characters from the left, we can put two. And we can see here that our result is BA. We can click OK. Now we have extracted the first two characters of that string of text. And to do this for the rest of the SKUs, we can just come up here and then click and drag our fill handle down for the rest of the cells. Now we have the first two characters of each SKU. So now let's try to extract the other parts of these SKUs. Let's skip part number for now and move on to type. Now remember, for the type, it's the last three characters within the SKU. So for this first SKU, KTL would be the type. So to extract the ending characters of a string of text, we need to use the right function. Once you have the function inserted, let's open up our function arguments window. And we can see here that the right function returns the specified number of characters from the end of a text string. So once again, our first argument is just selecting the text that we want to extract from, which is cell B3. And then for our second argument, we are specifying how many characters we want to extract from the end of this text string. So we are trying to extract the last three characters of this SKU, which is KTL. So for this argument, we can put three. Click OK. Then click and drag our fill handle down the rest of our cells. Now we can see that our right function extracted the last three characters of each SKU. All right, so we extracted the brand characters using the left function, and then we extracted the type characters using the right function. Now to retrieve the part number, which is in the middle of this string of text, we need to use the mid function. So we can type in equals 
mid. And then let's open up our function arguments window to see what this function does. So the mid function returns the characters from the middle of a text string, given a starting position and length. So once again, our first argument is just selecting the string of text that we want to extract from, which is cell B3. Now for our start number argument, is the position of the first character you want to extract. So our goal is to extract this number 154. And the starting position of this number is 1, 2, 3, because it's the third character within our string of text. So we would want to put 3 for our start number argument. And then for our number of characters argument, specifies how many characters to return from text. Well, we have our starting position, which is the third character, 1, 2, 3. So it starts on the 1. And then we need to specify how many characters we want to extract from this starting position. We are just trying to extract these three numbers, so 1, 2, 3. So we can put 3 for our number of characters argument as well. Then we can click OK. And then we can see that our mid function extracted those three characters within the middle of our text. And if we click and drag our fill handle down, we can see that it extracted the part number for each SKU. One thing to keep in mind is that these functions are working consistently only because our SKU numbers are consistent, meaning that they all start with the two first characters for the brand name, and then the next three characters is the part number, and the last three characters are the type.